Hey everybody, welcome back to some Slice and Dice on YouTube.twitch. Watch this. Hey, uh, hey, where's chat? There's no chat. Hey, chat, what do you mean what's better, a bagel or a, uh, see, I got no bits. I got to come up with the bits on the top of my head. I don't know what that was supposed to illustrate. I did just win a run with chat's help, I'll admit. Let's get it going. I know there's other modes, okay? At some point in our life, we'll, we'll check these out. Complete any mode with 12 plus total items. But for now, I'm just, I'm, I'm a base case Andy. I like playing the game as, as God intended. Sometimes. Except in Isaac, I always choose hard. But this is hard. Anyway, mana dead. The first spell you cast each fight costs two mana. Wand, it is too scary. Making two sides single use. Every third turn, put some snipers. That scares the, the you know what out of me. Small enemies get plus two to all sides. I think all of these are horrible. <laughs> I hate them all. Middle blank? Replace the middle side with blank. All most damaged enemies move back. At the end of every second turn, two damage to all allies or expensive. Dude, give me, exp give me the not expensive spells. I just did one where I could only cast one spell per turn. That was very annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'd rather deal with damage coming in. Fights tend not to last too, too long. I feel like I'm okay with this. What is gaze? Gain one reroll next turn. Can only be cast once each turn. I feel like it, it sounds funny, but like, I don't know if I possess the necessary wherewithal to use that properly, but you know, we got one floating mana, let's give it a chance. We could also save that mana to use for, like, to get halfway to a burst, but alas, here we are. I think we've, we've got lethal anyway. Let's, let's check and see if that's correct. Yes, it is. Okay, moving on. We got Sinew and Glacia. Glacia has weakness and good mana generation. Sinew, I actually really like the idea of this character. Good damage output, although exert is horrendous, of course, because you only get... Right? But as long as you roll it early, it's okay. But then one damage, cleave and chain. If we can get a lot of cleave going, this could start to do some serious AoE. And we use Glacia a lot, so honestly, I'm just going to give it a chance. Damage is... is Something, I mean, it's, maybe it sounds obvious. Damage is something you need to have in this game. And if you don't have it, you're... you're I mean, I'm not going to say you can't win, but life's going to be hard. Let's put it that way. I am going to roll again. And I think this matters. We do that just because I prefer to have, have the thorn off of the screen as soon as possible. We could burst, but I, I think I'd rather wait a turn. We got to... Keep in mind, though, that Sandstorm is coming in. So, it would, you know, the, I, I think it'll matter less as the game goes on because our heroes should just naturally get more HP. But it matters, like, a lot. Oh, my God, it's so horrible, except we have Gather, so thankfully it's not that bad. But it matters a lot at the start, that's for sure. Okay, look at that. We're okay. Big Shield replaces the left, with, uh, the left face with a shield that blocks four. I mean, it's just, it's literally better on the defender, but it's such a minor change. Or set max HP to six, also a minor change, but you know what? Getting any item that's like semi-useful from your tier one items is probably good. Okay, we don't need to attack the Ka Egg. It's not popping this turn. Two damage is fine. Four damage is nice. Now, if I could just get enough damage to kill this Goblin, we just turn one this fight, but I don't think we did. Like, we'll... we'll will smoke you. I think I'd rather just take you out right now. Because I, then I only have to do three damage next turn to get you instead of four damage. You're going to be exerted anyway. So what do we need? We need one damage or like two mana. Okay, that's, you know, easy enough. Maybe we got like a great squad here. We got some serious damage output. Spellblade or, or Myko? I do like, um, pardon me. I like boosting the sides of a dice. And both of these can do this. Now, I'm not going to get into the die versus dice thing. I recently found out for all the overcorrection, dice has been added as an accept... It's by Merriam-Webster, the OED, it's considered an acceptable singular form of dice. So a dice can be one or it could be many. It could be zero, I suppose. Both of these allow boosting. One of them gives single use, the other one gives decay 
functionally not that different. You do generate a lot of mana. We lose gather, we lose our cantrip. I do like the, f I, here's what I like. I like the fact that your dice is so consistent and I like the fact, like we can't roll zeros on it. And I like the fact that you have a copycat, which means we can copy a cleave. We could copy mana generation. We could copy growth, I guess. So I'm, I'm gonna go spell blade for now. But I think both of them are good choices. I didn't feel like that was a cursed choice. I'm going to take a little mana gain. Everything else is kind of not that great with it, I think. Two shield. I'm, I'm snoozing. I'm snoozing on you. I'm very disappointed with my first turn. <laughs> not, um... Oh, you know what? We should do it like this. Oh, but then it becomes single use. Yeah, okay, just wait. We'll stall. It's a horrendous first turn. We accomplished essentially nothing. And th that's bad because sandstorms are coming in. Four shield seems relevant. Cleave is not that relevant. I don't know why I'm excited about that. Now, bursting or boosting poison would be nice. Okay. A any chance we could get the, the actual good attack? Or is that just like it's not possible? It's not acceptable? I'm going to imbue the poison. So at least you're taking some damage, but... I'm a little bit annoyed with the with our dice rolls so far. We really need Sinyu to hit the... I was going to say to hit the gritty, but I'm just going to be honest. I don't really know what it means. I know it's a dance. It's popular with the, with the youth these days. I literally can't roll it, so I don't know what you want me to say. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to get mana gain and heal. No, it's just the mana gain. That's okay. We're going to... Gather doesn't really do much for us here. We're going to... Block on you. We're going to block on you. We're going to keep you alive. And w keep in mind, we got a sandstorm coming in next turn. So, like, life's looking pretty scary right now because we can't roll our only ability that's high damage, apparently. Okay, some shields. Some more shields. I, I can't. Like, I need, I need to be able to do better. Like, I, I, need, I need to roll the, the, the good one. I don't know what you I mean, that's... I, I get that this is a game where there's RNG, but at the same time, like... It's getting a little ridiculous. You gonna live? No. You're gonna live. Or the mystic. We'd rather have the mystic live. Are you gonna live? You're gonna live? Are you gonna live? You're gonna live. The sinew is dead, no matter what. Which is horrible news. Because <laughs> it's our only... Uh, attacker capable of dealing any damage, but they are apparently not capable of doing any damage because they can't roll the damage. Okay, you need that, obviously. Two shield keeps one person alive. We need somebody to be alive to, like, you know, put the lights out when the troll dies, which I think is still liable to happen. Although I recognize if you're watching this right now, you're probably like, it looks like that's not going to happen, but look at this. All we need to do is get that... We need one mana or any attack. And we got there. Okay, that was horrible. Flickering Blade. Replace the rightmost side with Copycat or five mana drink the potion. I mean, honestly... Lots of units could use this. I feel like the Initiate could definitely use this. They're also one of the only users that didn't die last turn, so they, they have as much HP as anybody else, basically. I'm a little concerned. Oh, there he is. I'm a little concerned just because, like, when units are lower on HP, that means that Sandstorm is going to hit them that much harder. Which means we're going to have to work a little harder ourselves to stay out in front of this one. It doesn't work like that. Um, because they, I feel like we could easily get caught in like a death spiral. Like right now, how are we going to keep these guys alive? What is this? He, shield for two is okay. Okay, a, a lot more mana would be a genuine answer. You rolled a cantrip, which is nice. We need more than healing for one, though. We need like the shield and the heal. We didn't get it, but this, it's not a big surprise. Six mana... If I could kill you... Just thinking. If I could kill you, I need to do four damage. Can I gather and... Okay, but that's just mostly 
<laughs> window dressing, I guess, but still. Uh, and then two units are dying. That's, I guess, an improvement. Oh, dude, we get some time. Not that we need it now that I think it's not like we can, like, overheal or anything like that. Bring anybody back and heal them, but we had lethal there. We should have just let it ride. Either way. Okay, two units died that time. Progress, but I'd like to progress even faster. Disciple is just a better healer. What's your spell? Glow. Replace blank slides with heal and shield three. That seems potentially great. You, I do like Sparky as well. The, we need to save the single-use charge sides for, like, an ultimate ability, basically. I think because we already have some mana gain, I think we can go Disciple here. We, it, clearly, healing is going to be a bit of a sore spot for us. We need to stop you from taking six damage this turn. <laughs> Ideally. This helps. This helps. I mean, this is just pretty okay. I would roll once more. I think we can keep you alive. And we still got some mana left over. But like... I mean, next turn... Maybe it's not going to be that bad. I don't think it's going to be that good, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. It would be nice to start knocking some units out. That would require us to roll damage, though, which apparently, like, never happens. It's a pretty horrendous roll, I think. Free mana's nice. I, I feel like we have to roll the heal. If we roll and we get the X, that'll sting. But, like, life goes on. Am I really freezing nothing, though? I didn't get the X. You dying would be great for business. Maybe the time is right to imbue you. No, it doesn't change the amount of bursts we have to do. So I, it, it does give us... We, we spend one mana to gain one mana, but we turn a, a good die into single use for no reason. Okay, and what if, I, what if I was to do this? You know, this is why I like this game has like an undo button. We can puzzle this stuff out for ourselves. You're only dealing one damage, so like you're not that, you're not that scary. Replaces blank sides with a camera play for a bit of I don't think there's any way to stop uh, two characters from dying. I think the best we could hope for is what we did. Burst anyway. Save. That saves nobody. Oh, no, it saves one person. We should save the disciple because they have a resurrection. It's a simple calculus. And then all we need is the sinew to get five damage, and then the, the both goblins are dead. Of course, that's a bit of a pipe dream. I think we should roll like nothing. Because we, we need either the res. Okay, this is actually pretty good. We need like the res or to keep ourselves alive or five damage. And we got five damage. Still sucks though. <laughs> Extra HP for every vowel in your name. Honestly, just, like, not incredible, but seems like it could save our initiate in some scary situations. This is what I mean, like, we got ourselves caught in a, in a cycle here that's really hard to get out of, right? Like, how are we gonna... Not, we need to flawless a fight where no units die so that we have enough HP to, like, continue rolling, okay? Because now is not looking great. This is looking like we're in a, a terrible situation. Anyway. Sorry, I just had to check on something. I know it probably it froze me in place there for a second. Um, we need our damage side, and we got it. Well, you need a shield. We have enough damage. Okay, so they, a shield would be nice, and we got it. We got some free mana. This means the quartz will die. No, I have to hit it for one. <laughs> okay, I know what to do. Imbue it. There you go. Now we're safe. This is one too much mana, but the burst is fine. And we can actually use, like, Glow or Gather to make our exerted side be worth something if we get the mana. Well, we already have the mana. Dude, I think we might be accomplishing... The prophecy might come true, the sacred text. Either way, I think I would like to... Let's Glow. Heal you. Take some support. Take some support. Take a block. 
Take some more mana. Burst, and then we, we just gotta hit you two times. For, for any damage, or that we don't even have to. Everybody lived, okay. So the Jester's a little reroll driven. The Cleric is like mana focused, but good shields and heals and a cleanse as well. I would, I would roll this. I think losing big shield is, is okay. Like this is functionally very similar to big shield. Maybe we'd actually like you to have, maybe four shield is better than two shield, two heal in, in, in more situations right now. Okay, this is survival. Just like live long enough for the fanatic to die. And ideally, this is just me th spitballing here. It would be nice as well if at some point um, we could have a run where I'm like, we did some damage. But that's been hard to come by. Been just getting by like on the skin of our teeth. I'm going to imbue the poison and put it on the big enemy. And then I'm going to smack you, which is a little cleave. And then we're just going to stall. Next turn's going to suck. But you know, if we can kill the fanatic... I bet we're doing okay. We need to find six damage somewhere. That's very helpful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. That's that's great. And I would love it if you could like, I don't know, be better. Maybe that's rude. I guess I shouldn't look one damage in the in the mouth and be upset. Does that make any sense? Is that a statement that has any actual value? Everybody's living, by the way which is kind of crazy. So I could use this twice, or I could have you, or you wouldn't get anything off of that. You could get mana gain, you could get exert. We'd rather have one extra mana or one extra damage. They're, they're basically identical. Let's see. Give me the mana then, just because I don't want to undo all that. It just takes too long. I'll burst you once and then see where we stand. I think this team is now looking like what I thought it would look like. Which is not to say that it's that incredible, but it's way less, like, complete garbage than I thought it. I mean, like, when we were rolling just straight, like, badness the whole way through, I was, I was like, what's going on? What's wrong? So for two mana, we can at least have you keep our spell blade alive, which is kind of goes a little crazy with it. Am I okay letting the disciple die? I am just because I mean, I know that they have the res on them. I'm just I don't think they're that valuable, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm being rude. Gray heroes only replace the left side with zero mana steel. So you could put a bunch of shields on the on the cleric and then have them generate mana. Seems unlikely to me. Adds Death Wish to the two right sides. Seems like completely useless to me <laughs> right now. Is there a way we could make... Like, we could generate a lot of mana with the Cleric. Or with, with everybody. And then... Two mana would put two shields on the Cleric. And then give us two more mana when we use this. Listen, I don't think it's going to be, like, transformative. It might even be bad. But we're going to... Let's give it a try. I don't know. It's basically... The way I'm trying to... I, like, the model I have built for this is basically that every... Shields on the cleric are free. Because we just get a refund for them in the form of mana to begin with. But why am I putting the shield on you? Because we didn't even roll the thing I wanted to roll. <laughs> I was like setting up for something that doesn't exist. I'll tell you though, here's what I will do. I will imbue this so that we get an, a very nice cleave. And then we could always just like burst a bony. You can still protect someone. One more hit allows us to kill both bonies and do one damage to each sniper. Maybe two damage, depending on how the stack resolves. Not to, not to get all Magic the Gathering on you. We know that's good. We want better mana. That's better mana. That's a little unfortunate, but let's, let's see how it plays out. Very nicely. Very nicely. No worries. We're back. Level 10. We have a Seer and a Fiend. The Fiend takes... Look, I'm not worried about the vowels, okay? Let's get over it. We could always put it on the Disciple. 
You've got Foretell, which is like a mana investment, and you've got Burn. One damage to all heroes and monsters on cooldown. You generate a lot of mana, but it hurts yourself in the process. You don't generate that much mana, but you create a little mana investment, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure. I, honestly, I'm not sure I love either. But I'm going to say that the Fiend serves my purposes better. And you should still maybe take the copycat. Just to give you some damage. And then you can have three extra HP. Look, they, we, we give it to the Spellblade, sure. They get three as well. But I don't know. I think the Disciple staying alive, even though I've insulted them in the past, is probably worth it. And then I'm like, dude, the Spellblade, we're getting like literally nothing out of the copycat, bro. Why don't you just take big shields? And now like all of our units are jacks of all trades, masters of none. So I think we're destined to die at some point, but I don't know when. So we could create two poison. I just want you to work. I don't know how. I, we need mana, then. In that case, we need mana. You would copy Cleave. But I don't want to cleave these units, because we're going to take so much damage from spikes. You could copy some mana gain. Maybe one cleave to kill two illusions is, is worth it. This is a weird one. I don't know. We didn't generate any mana <laughs> at all. <laughs> so you're going to be a two damage cleave. And it didn't kill me to use it. So that's nice to hear. And then this is one damage to all heroes and enemies, which would kill the imp, but it would also kill our fiend. So I'm going to simmer on that one. And I, I, I listen, I don't think we got the right build for this power stone. I'm just willing to admit it. I think this turn's going to be a little scary. One thing, I, I think we got to be very careful with your cleaves. Somehow we got to keep you alive to, to make this work. I don't know how that's going to happen. So I, one, and I think we need to roll shields. One free mana, one poison. We can kill you with a spell, which probably keeps our cleric alive. We could also generate mana for our cleric to use uh, generate shields for our mana to use as a cleric i mean as our mana to use for a i mean as our mage to use for a i don't understand okay give me mana you're going to generate mana in accordance with your existing shields yeah that makes sense to me that makes sense to me i have to think though <laughs> you should just be killed Unless I can kill the spiker, which I can't. So we're, we're destined to lose the sinew, right? Even if I imbue this, when I use it... Oh, it, it only works on damage sides anyway. And glow won't work till the next turn. So I gotta just keep you alive. Keep, keep everybody alive, if possible, I suppose. But then I'm like, you... Can I, I spend two? I get shields on you, which would give me two mana back. For what purpose? <laughs> good point, good point. All right, we just gotta kill the spiker and we're right back into it. I've done something wrong. I've concocted a build that is, is causing me some grief here. We have a res though, that's very nice. We have uh, a shield with a cleanse, which doesn't really matter. I think we got some big rolls. That allows us to get a bunch of mana. We got seven mana. You do two damage every time, yep, okay. Well, we should res. The simple play is just to burst you, burst you, and then probably stall. We don't really need to, I mean, if we use this, we're going to die, right? Yeah. We would get one mana back, but like to, to what purpose? I think I would just end turn on that and, and I'd save the one damage. The problem with bringing Sinew back is that they'll still be at half HP for the next fight, which I understand for balance purposes, but is annoying. We, we really just need, against this guy, we just need mana. We, so we need mana and heals. That's mana. I don't know, this might be enough to, or in shields, I should say, but this might be enough to keep you alive to the point where you can then use this, and then we give you some support and some support. 
and some support. And you take some support. And then you get imbued poison. And that would kill you. So let's not do that. Let's instead pass turn. And we'll wait on this one. <laughs> this is not a good fight for us. Health is good. Poison is good if I could somehow keep you alive. I don't know. Because we could imbue it and then finally have like something helping us kill the freaking uh, spiker. There's, there's a play here. There's a combo. Okay. So it's like shield. That basically gives us two shield again. Because we can use this two shield that we put on the cleric to generate two extra mana. Heal me. Use this. There's no real reason to burst you down anymore, now that I look at it. Maybe we should heal you twice then. Burst me. Burst me. Burst me. Imbue the poison. Now we have an engine working in our favor. Man, to not have to... To just generate enough mana to get the kill this turn would be sick. And I think that just did it. <laughs> that way we don't have to deal with the sandstorm. We don't have to deal with the freaking spikes. Ladder. So you would copy the middle side with the hero above's basic side. So you would get one poison. You would get two shield. You would get shield and heal. And you would get just two heal. None of those seem like transformative to me. But replace the middle side with add mana gain and pain to target sides this turn. This would generate a lot of mana for us. It would replace your three mana spot. It would replace your two heal spot. It would replace... Oh, I don't know, man. We could put it... Ah, I, I'm going random tier five. I think I need something more basic. <laughs> Replace the middle column with blank, four mana, blank. Brother, this is not good. I think it does make the spell blade a little better, but like... I know we lose the mana gain, but we kind of get... We, we lose the damage more than anything else. I don't know where this run's going. I feel like we don't have what we need. But we are still alive, and that's pretty cool. So that's good damage. That's good mana. That's good nothing. That's also good, not quite nothing, but pretty close. I would probably spend... I know we're going to get spell burned here. I would spend two mana to do one... No, what are you talking... I was going to say... Did, what, are you, what are you talking about? Spend two mana to do one damage to every... Oh, we're going to have to use a spell anyway to keep this as good. We got to keep... The, if we do this, though, we got to keep the sinew alive. So we got to do like this, and then this. I don't think that's worth it at all. I think we should just let this one simmer and lose the, lose the two mana. Unless I'm missing something obvious. Mana, mana. Sinew is, is busted right now. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> this is horrible. It's horrendous. As soon as I use a spell, two units are going to die. Unless I heal one of them. <laughs> In which case, one unit is going to die. Who, I, the spell blade can go. You get saved, if possible. And then glow. And then saved. And then saved so we can use two more mana. To get a burst going, which does absolutely nothing. I'm going to lose right here. I'm not going to say that I didn't make some misplays. I'm, I'm just also going to say that I'm... Something went wrong in the... In the state of Denmark with this one. Like, this did not... Help me. I lived. May, wait, maybe it's not over. Hold on. <laughs> we can take this guy. I, no, I'm exerted! I give up. I'm done rolling. I end my turn. Killed by a whiz, man. That hurts. I had a great time. We made it to 11 of 20. That's not great. We'll be back to try again right after this. Thanks for watching. They can't all be winners. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. See ya.